hi guys today we are going to create a, a basic QR code application using ZX uh, ING Android embedded library which is basically based on Zexing zebra crossing library and uh, this will be a very basic application with a button and a result text uh, and a result text and uh, now we will just scan the QR code and barcodes and we will show the result into the screen so let's start so first of all I have created one project QR scanner and I have added this dependency when you go to the Zexing uh, uh, github library page you will see there are a lot of uh, steps to add a library but uh, I found out recently that we can just add this dependency and we can use the Zexing uh, QR code scanner functionality into our application so this is a very simple way to do it and uh, that's it and we will, let's go to the coding part as you can see uh, we have a basic layout here so we need to have a button and two text views to show the format as well as the result so this button will work as the QR scanner button in which we will click and uh, the QR scanner window will open so give this button text as scan button and the ID will be scan underscore button and we will have two more views which is two text views to show the result so we will just add it them to the top of this so let's add one more text view okay will this will uh, define the dependency like this only okay So as you can see we have added two text views we need to give the ID to both the text views so the first one will be scan content and the second one will be TV scan TV scan format as you can see there is some red line showing here so this is because of the ID so we are done with the design part let's go to the Java file part we need to have a button and two text views TV scan content and TV scan format let's bind these IDs scan content the same for format as well format we need to have a click listener as well so we will implement the listener and as you can see the red line we have to implement the method on click and as you can see the button we will add the listener on the button so that we can call the QR scanner in on click part we will just have one intent integrator which is a part of the QR scanner library 
we have to create the class of this sorry the object of this class and we can do lot of things as you can see there are multiple things you can do with this intent so currently we have to just set a prompt on the qr scan screen scan a barcode or qr code and integrator dot there is one more thing we will do into this set orientation logged as false so the user can do the the scanning part through lens way and finally initialize scan sorry initiate scan there are other functions as well which you can implement into this according to your need so you have to go to the dependency library uh, library github repository and you will find it there and now the starting part is done now we have to implement result part which is own activity result intent result is equal to we will be having a result object which will be a object of intent intent integrator which will contain request code result code as data make sure that result is not not so not null override the own activity result sorry the own activity result and if the result is not null we will get the result and show to the screen if the result is proper then we will we will uh, add the result so as you can see we have on click event in on click event the user will click and initiate the qr scan and on result will show the result of the scan scanned uh, qr code so this is it this is the entire code we have to do to make a qr scanner a basic qr scanner functionality so let's run the project and let's see if it works properly or not the project has been installed successfully into my phone let's go and scan while i clicked on scan the application is crashed so it is showing that no static method factory no such method error so what we can do about this this error comes from due to because we don't use java 8 functions here so what we have to do is and comment this so now run the project again and let's see if it works properly or not so the project has worked properly now i am clicking on the scan button and the scanner opened correctly so the result is showing very very properly that's it that's all we have to do to create a basic qr scanner application thank you